I just wanted to mention the National Catholic Register has an article about Pope Francis naming new cardinals. What's unsaid speaks volumes. You can read it yourself from the National Catholic Register, but what's interesting is many, like, for example, here in Los Angeles, we have Archbishop Jose Gomez, mm-hmm. who is the Archbishop for Los Angeles for quite a re- I think since 2012. And uh, normally that would be a, a area where a cardinal would be coming into Los Angeles since it's by far the largest diocese, double the size of Chicago or New York. Mm-hmm. But the Holy Father has decided to pick San Diego's bishop uh, to be a cardinal. And um, many of us are scratching our heads. Well, I, I will just say this. I know the bishop out in San Diego. I've met him. Yeah, can I say something before, sure. you, before you go any further? Just quickly. Yeah. Uh, in regard to, to, to how really uh, what a surprising move this is, you know, in, in view of the, of the uh, yeah. standard operating procedure in the church. Sure. Los Angeles, not only is it's big, it's an archdiocese. Right. You know, and so the bishop of Los Angeles is archbishop to begin with. Right. San Diego is a suffering uh, diocese. That's right. right? They, 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 they're, they're at the suffrage of, of the diocese of Los Angeles. Of course. That their bishop is not an archbishop. Right. And for, you know, to, to do that tiddlywink move, of, of, you know, like that leapfrog mm-hmm. of, of making a cardinal out of uh, a bishop and a, of a suffrage diocese is really, it's almost unheard of. Yeah. As far as I can. It, it is, but but this has been Pope Francis's style. So we pray that um, things go well for us with this. But I will say this, as of 2016, uh, Southern California, here the largest diocese in the country, now it has no... Uh, cardinal, uh, voting cardinal for the next conclave. And so I think, like everybody, you know, the Holy Father's trying to set the stage. He's 85 years old. <clears throat> right. um, his health is poor. <clears throat> and he's gonna. he's got 67% of the cardinals now uh, in the conclave for the next conclave. So I, I just will say this, that um, I'm not in management, I'm in sales, and so I want to remind people, even when things like this happen, don't depress, don't be depressed over these things because, you know, God can work miracles in spite of any of us, and I mean any of us, and so let's keep our eyes focused on Jesus, not your parish priest, not your cardinals, bishops, or even the pope, because they will always disappoint you. A man has always, that's what the Psalms say. Trust in God, not in man. Right. So I just want to make sure we stay focused on that. And, and Matthew, I want your comments, but I want to, mm-hmm. this brings me up to a survey that kind of sets the stage for this. But your thoughts about anything well, else about well, it? Well, I wanted to share a, a quote from St. Augustine. That's great. Because, you know, he lived in, in troubling times as sure well. He did. And it was, uh, it's in one of his letters, a, a, a woman, religious superior, mm-hmm. wrote to him about, about the you know, complaining about the states of the episcopate, about the, you know, that she was convinced they were bad bishops and didn't know what to do and thought, you know, is this the end of the church? Is this the end of the, of all things, you know? And he reminded her, he said, there are, there are good shepherds and bad shepherds, so also in the flocks there are good and bad, <laughs> yep. right? The yep. sheep and the goats. And he says, I exhort you, therefore, not to be too much troubled by those offenses for which this very reason were foretold as destined to come. Right. In other words, she's scandalized. He's saying, but that's why Jesus foretold that there would be scandals, because you'd be scandalized. He said that when they came, we might remember that they had been foretold yes, and not be greatly disconcerted by them. Good but point. the Lord himself in his gospel foretold them, saying, woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offenses come. Yeah. 